And you can almost smell the hot dogs in the air, folks. Mm. Hello, everybody. It's that time of year again. I'm Carl Ravitch, and we are moments away from taking you out to the ballpark. Up next, the L.A. Dodgers taking on the Reds. Let's see who's got the edge in today's starting pitching matchup. Odalis Perez will get the call for the L.A. Dodgers. Paul Wilson will take the hill for Cincinnati. Now let's send you out to the great American ballpark in Cincinnati, where John Miller and Joe Morgan are standing by. Fellas? Okay, Carl, from hard on the shores of the Ohio River, welcome to the great American ballpark here in Cincinnati, Ohio. It's ESPN bringing you Major League Baseball. We're getting ready for some exhibition baseball now coming up. Today, it's the Los Angeles Dodgers taking on the Cincinnati Reds. This is John Miller along with Joe Morgan, and we're ready to bring you all the excitement of this ball game. Before we get things going, Joe, what do you think about the Dodgers in this matchup? Well, you know they'll be looking for some offense out of J.D. Drew. He's always had the physical tools to be a feared hitter, but last year he finally stayed healthy long enough to put up all the numbers. He posted career highs in just about every offensive category, and you know they'd love to see him keep it up in this one. Paul Wilson will be doing the pitching. He was an 11-game winner last year. Well, they'll turn to one of their better pitchers in this one, John. Righty Paul Wilson. Wilson was the number one pick in the nation in 1994. I know he's had some struggles over the years injury-wise, but he brings in a pretty good fastball that's 93 to 94 miles an hour. He can keep you off balance with sliders and change up. And we'll just have to see how he fares tonight. When he's healthy, he's a good pitcher. Well, we're just about ready to get going. First pitch is upcoming, so let's get ready for baseball on ESPN. First pitch to him. Swing and a roller towards the hole. Lopez is right there. His throw, not in time. And that'll be an infield single. Here's the lineup for the Dodgers. J.D. Drew sitting in the number four spot, always a power spot in the order. Power at first. First pitch, here it comes. And this is hit in the air, oh, foul oh. down the left field line. Now a throw over. He delivers. Track two. The 0 1 pitch is a changeup swung on and missed. 0 and 2. There's a swing and a drive down the line and left, carrying deep back into the corner. And foul. <laughs> Now a throw over, a dive, but he's back in easily. This is swung on and hit on the ground. The second for one, and two, a double play. John, we'll take a moment here to look at the replay on this double play. I think what you see here is a defense that is really focused on this play. They make sure that they get the double play by making sure they get the first one, and then they turn the second one. Defense like this wins ball game. Now let's take a quick look at the Reds and how they line up defensively. Space is empty, two down. First pitch done. Fastball just misses. One ball, no strikes. A great pitcher changes the eye level of the hitter. Upstairs, then downstairs. Inside with the curve, 2-0. Oh. The 2-0 -oh pitch, here it comes. Sinker just misses the corner and he runs it now to 3-0. and oh. The sinker will not sink if it's thrown up and away. You gotta get the sinker down in order for it to be effective. Fastball in there for a strike, 3-1. The 3-1 pitch on the way. Ball four, he walked him. Well, he was trying to stay away from the hitting zone, John. J.D. Drew steps up to the plate. He hit 31 home runs last year. He's got a 5-13 career slug. Now a swing of the ball hit well into right field. It's got some carry to it. Gone! A homer, a two-run shot. So, a tie ball game, and then boom! The big fly, a streak of lightning across the sky, and they've got a two-run advantage. 
And he decides he likes that first pitch, and right out of the yard it goes. And some guys, though, Johnny, like to take a pitch or two to get into the rhythm, get the feel for what the pitcher's throwing right now. But he was swinging away, and it paid off big time. Yeah, some guys get in the rhythm a little more quickly than others. Belial will be the new pitcher in the game. Closing ball clubs hitting 271. Been well, sometimes you just don't have it out there, and this starter just flat did not have it today. Let's see if the pin can slow them down. Well, if you guess right and you're looking for a change up away, you can go the other way. Now the 1 0 pitch. Started to go around, but he held up in time, and it's 2 0. Now the 2 0 pitch. Inside with the fastball, Inside. three and zero. Oh. Fastball in will set up the next pitch. That'll keep the outside corner for the pitcher. The three zero -oh pitch. Here it comes, and he watches the slider all the way. Three and one. Now the three one pitch. This one swung on and hit in the air. Done. Let's just want eat him up. Aesop Choi is the batter. His home run total last season was 15. He ended with 46 RBIs last season. Man, that's what you call popping the mitt. Right on the outside corner. Down and away. The pitch. Here's a swing and a fly ball. This one is into the gap, rolling toward the wall. Griffey can't come up with this thing. Jose Valentin gets a shot here. Last year he had 30 total homers all year. With his career slugging percentage at 452. First pitch, here it comes. And they pitch out, but nothing was going on there. He's at the belt. The 1-0 pitch. Ball two. That's up. Here's the 2-0 pitch. Ball three. High. The 3-0 pitch. And they pitch out. Nothing doing that time. John, this pitch had to be in the middle of the plate, not up and away. And I guess it's time for a little heart-to-heart -heart talk here, John. It doesn't seem like they're going to pull him right away, probably just considering making the change later on. Two down, runners at first and second. First pitch to him. Swings and misses at that fastball. It's 0-1. The 0 1 pitch, a fastball swung on and missed 0 and 2. Two great pitches right on the edge. Now he's got him in trouble. Struck him out. And we're able to stop the bleeding. The side is fine. He has punished him here, John. Three great pitches. Well, he's got to have great stuff because you don't see guys go down on three pitches like that very often. Very nice. The Dodgers break through with three runs here and open up a three-run lead. Now we'll go to the bottom of inning number one. The Dodgers lead three to nothing. Odalis Perez will be starting for them today. First pitch, here it comes. Hurt one. On the way. Keeps it down that time for a strike, and it's 0-2. The pitcher has him 0-2. I look for him to go inside and then back outside. Cutter thought he had him, but it's 1-2. The 1-2 pitch. Now here's the ball grounded towards the hole. Valentin has got it. And he throws on to first for the out. One away. Terrific job on this play by the third baseman. He fires the ball on the first to nab the runner. Let's check out the lineup for the Reds. Sean Casey is sitting in that second spot. One out, nobody on. First pitch on the way. Now here's a swing and a soft liner. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And we'll take a quick look at the Dodgers and how they line up defensively. The 
with one out, there's a runner at first. First pitch to him. Any pitcher that can spot that pitch there, they're way ahead of the game. Swings it, lines this one towards the hole. Over to second for one. And two. A double play. Well, John, let's see this pitch again on Kazon. Here's another look at the cutter. You don't normally see a ground ball hit on a pitch that high, but that's what happened here. Yeah, he still went up there and managed to get on top of that ball. Just an unlucky play. I think sometimes the breaks just don't go your way in the game. That inning didn't last long. After one, Los Angeles is ahead three to nothing. The numbers nine, one, and two spots do up next. Joe Thurston will be the first man up. First pitch, here it comes. Here's a swing and he pops it up. Jimenez makes the catch to retire his man, one down. He's Torres will stand in and he's a switcher, batting left-handed. One out, none on. First pitch on the way. Now a swing and a ball hit foul. Pitch on the way. Good hard side of that time, and he's in control, 0-2. Let's see what he wants to do now. No balls, two strikes, a lot of different ways he can go here. Change that, swung and missed, and that was out of the two. Man, that's right down the middle, he missed it. Strike three. Three pitches, and he's out. Great pitching here. Let's take a look at the replay. Yeah, strike one, strike two, strike three, and see you later. Worth will be the batter. 0 for 1 thus far. Two outs, nobody on. First pitch to him. Fastball swung on and missed. 0 and 1. This one swung on and fouled away. Fastball swung on and missed, and with that, the side is retired. Here's the four-seam fastball coming at you on Kazon to give you a better look. He decides to swing at this one, but he couldn't get the bat square to the ball in time. Excellent pitching right there. It certainly was. Got to give credit to the pitcher for getting him to chase that one. Nothing doing here this happening. Now we'll move on to the bottom of the second. L.A.'s out in front, three to nothing. The middle of the order, the four, five, six spots coming up next. Adam Dunn will be leading it off, and they're going to have to deal with him somehow. Sharp curveball, swung out and missed, 0-1. Well, the crowd is behind him. They want to see him get on base. 0-2, let's see if they want to finish him right here or waste one. Swings and lines this one back up the middle. He's Turis, dives and he made the catch. Wow, what a play. He's Turis. Look, just an exceptional play. Here's another look. Well, there aren't many guys that are going to make this play, John, but watch as he leaves his feet, gets his glove into position, and pulls it in. This is a big-time play. First pitch to him. Oh, wow. mm, tight rotation there, and it just misses. One ball, no strike. Here's the 1-0 delivery. Curveball over for a strike, one and one. The 1-1 pitch on the way. Man, big rip at that one, but he was looking for something else. A one-two pitch coming. He takes it inside for a ball, two and two. Two-two pitch. Fastball, got him. Two down. Well, he was looking dead red. He got the fastball, but he could not make contact. Strike three. He takes a cut on this pitch down in the zone and he comes up empty. Not what his team needed there, but at least he was aggressive. Yeah, maybe a little overly aggressive there, Joe, since he seeing as how he didn't even make contact. Knowing when and when not to swing separates the great ones from the rest. Swing and a miss, although he looked to be right on it. He deals. Swings and lines this one back up the middle. No run, no hit, nobody left. We'll go to the top of inning number three. L.A.'s out in front, three to nothing. The numbers three, four, five spots, the big hitters do up. J.D. Drew, an outstanding hitter, and he will be due up second in the inning. First pitch on the way. 
High and away for a ball. 1-0. Oh. A lot of times you'll chase the high fastball because you see it better, but that one was away also, so he was able to lay off. The 1-0 pitch on the way. Swing of the ball hit pretty well, but into foul territory and deep right. Here's the 1-1 pitch. Now a swing and a ball hit on the ground. And his throw is in time for the first out of the inning. Drew to stand in. He homered earlier in the game. Base is empty with one out. First pitch to him. Now a swing. That ball is really hit well. Deep. Going back. Griffey is just shy of the wall as he makes the catch. John, he's settled into quite a groove here. That's six in a row he set down. Two outs, nobody on. First pitch on the way. This one's popped up foul behind the plate. Well, he didn't get cheated. That's the big flash win. Slider swung out of next. He struck it out and back to side. Let's take a look at the pitching sequence, John. He delivers three straight strikes. Yeah, that's not much of a sequence. Just uh, get to the plate and then take your spot in the bench. Nothing doing here this happening. Now we'll go to the bottom of the third. Los Angeles is ahead three to nothing. It's the last third of the batting order coming up. Willie Mo Pena will try and get something started. He's up third in the next inning. First pitch, here it comes. Fastball swung on and missed 0-1. He kicks, he throws. He's ahead 0-2. I don't think he'll waste a pitch. He'll try to finish him off right here. Hit in the air to center field. And he can't make the play. This could be trouble. The throw to second. Play at second, and he is safe as he's able to slide in. Folks, here it is. Another look at the dust cloud out at the top of the diamond. No, no, that's not a dust cloud. That's just a nice, hard slide into second base to get that done. Good choice there. I think he had to hit the dirt. Daniel is going to be coming into the game now to be the new catcher. He's held the opposing batters to an average of 250. Well, I know this guy could be the best reliever on the team, but to turn to him this early, this is a tough spot for him. Watch as a changeup go by for strike one. Oh, and he lays off the fastball. Good pitch. One ball, one strike. With two strikes, you throw the power fastball upstairs. You get the hitter to chase it a lot faster. He laid off. Excellent control there, hitting the outside corner. One and two. The one-two pitch. Big swing and a miss on the changeup. He struck it out. One away. Great location on this pitch. Kept it down and caught the corner. Let's see this one again on Kazon. It was a changeup. Joe, I think the pitch just had him fooled on this one. Well, it's like he just pulled the string a little bit. That's good stuff right there. Man, this ballpark is really rocking. The home fans refuse to accept that a three-run deficit means they're not going to win this ball game. Here's the pitch. The 0-1 pitch is a curve swung on and missed. 0-2. And, Swing and a miss on the fastball. And that's the second out of the inning. Good pitch on the outside edge. He couldn't do anything with that one. That's a tough pitch with two strikes. Ryan Friel is up now. Last season he had just three home runs with a career slugging percentage under 400. First pitch is a changeup for a call strike. There and two, you got to concentrate on putting the ball in play. Strikeout doesn't help you here. Fastball swung out of this, and with that, the side is retired.
the Los Angeles Dodgers. A big victory. They didn't have a whole lot of offense, but they didn't need it. Pitching and defense saved the day for them. And John, before this game, you probably thought three runs, that won't be enough tonight. But guess what? It was enough. Great pitching job. J.D. Drew is our ESPN Video Games Player of the Game. Joe, he really was the hitter that came through big for his club tonight in this victory. Neither team scored an enormous amount of runs, and I think that's why his performance really stood out. And that's a big impact on the victory. Drew was definitely the man for them in this ball game. As a pitcher, you always have to be careful because he can drive the ball with authority. And he showed it in this game. He was outstanding. So that ought to do it for our broadcast here on ESPN. For my partner, Joe Morgan, and the rest of our ESPN crew, this is John Miller saying thanks for tuning in. And once again, the final score, the Los Angeles Dodgers win this one three to nothing. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. For more, log on to ESPN.com. So long from Great American Ballpark.